to someone who you really trust. Mm -hmm. And when you are done with that, you can just tear that paper and you flush it or burn it, it and yeah. discard it. By doing that, you'll find that in most cases, you would feel a bit relieved. You know, when you talked about your brother's keeper clubs right. and whatnot, it yeah. reminded me of this film I watched of yeah. uh, this one guy who was trying hard to reach out to dads right. um, who were terrible fathers to their kids. Okay. And he, some of them were in prison, some were out, but then they were out, they were living in society, but were not productive mm -hmm. dads to okay. their children. Right. So what this guy then did was he took those dads, Wanengiwa Buddha, from jail on parole. He sat down with them, mm -hmm. and then at first these men did not want to talk about their problems. Okay. They didn't want to talk about what is it they were doing wrong as fathers. Mm -hmm. But because as time goes on, they kept coming back to that circle, to that group. They ended up becoming um, better dads, reflecting on themselves right. what they did wrong, okay. and becoming better dads, becoming better husbands. Mm -hmm. And it does really help if you put it into place. Not only that one person, yeah, who then says, "Let's do this." Let's exactly. And Sometimes then consistency. Yeah, consistency. Sometimes we cannot only marry two, cannot three. I mean, I'm going to share someone. I'm going to run and I go to like, but particularly this time, a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff, yeah. but because of Pride, ego, you know, like as old a friend, young, no sake, no sake, because I took not in the better than him. Like as a mood, I could see now in the script of my problems. And I was already got to go, no, I can't, I can't, I gotta be a man, I gotta man up. You're not manning up, you're just killing yourself because those emotions you are repressing one day they will explode either through illness, as I said, or a mm -hmm. mental health condition, or sometimes in a character defect. You find someone who would miss him. You know, mm -hmm. character, you, you can't associate well with others. And all those things. So those are some of the ways through which um, um, repressed emotions express themselves. So it is very, very critical that we understand that we need to let go. And just to mention the thing that uh, most of us know that according to the World Health Organization, men are four times more likely to commit suicide than women mm -hmm. and this is just one of the reasons because again when you have repressed that emotion for too long and probably you ha you still have ignored it even if you had like some symptoms physical symptoms you get to a point where your body then just snaps and mm -hmm. according to you you can't take it anymore so when you've just snapped that's it the only way out is to say you know what let me take my life so it's very and more men are dying of suicide than women because of this thing that they are not taking care of their souls they are not nurturing their souls through allowing themselves to feel like human beings and be able to express themselves and be able to reach out and seek help from professionals we have psychologists we have psychiatrists we have us coaches will give you tools on how to go through difficult um, situations and stuff like that. So th there's so much help out there. It's, it's just that we need to get to a point where we say, you know, we have died enough. We mm. have suffered enough. It's time we change this culture thing and be able to do things that a normal human being would do so that we can fend for our families. Because, uh, listen, when you are stressed out, the part of your brain which is responsible for thinking and analyzing and making decisions is actually blotted out. So you find that even if there is a solution that you can come up with, you can't because the stress levels are so high and they are blocking the prefrontal uh, cortex from allowing you to decide and think. But then when you go through this process of letting out that negative energy, it then clears you of the negative energy from the system, from the brain, and you're able to think and you can come up with solutions and you can take care of yourself and your family. Wow. And Zipanapa, eh, another thing, I understand what you're saying, but the other thing is when I do reach out for help, right. there are times when it is my partner that laughs at me. Okay. Eh, Kuti, you, you're telling me you have this problem. Mm -hmm. You're a man, you should. Mm -hmm. You're a man. So at times, the reason why we then pull back, it's the, the partner. It, partner is not supporting you. Right. So it's, it, it all comes back to the issue of mental health awareness, Nyasha. Mm. That's why we always say to people, come, let's talk about mental health and mental health awareness. Because if the wife does not understand the things that we're talking about here, she is, instead of going to be the person that supports the husband to say, look, let's go together. Mm. Or, oh, like, can, can, why, 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 why,
Have you spoken to your friend? So when people don't understand these things that we're talking about, they continue to be the, the gaslighters instead of helping the man. So there's need for us in, in families and in churches and the workplaces to have more of these mental health awareness sessions because they educate all of us. Because if you just say this to the men like what they are saying, mm -hmm. definitely he gets home and he wants to do everything right and then the wife lives and then back. So we, we need the, this kind of um, teaching or learning that, that goes across um, the family members or across the different uh, structures of society so that we are fighting together. Uh, it is difficult to then try and change the way things are mm -hmm. because in Indagakura a certain way right. and Indagakura is really a tough person. So to then allow myself to talk about my problems, mm -hmm. it is not easy. Okay. I then decide I can do it on my own. Mm -hmm. I can do it on my own. <laughs> Number one, perfect. Yeah. For guys, mostly it's like, no, I can handle this. Yeah. I can handle this. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can sort it out. Don't True. worry about it. Yeah. But they need... In, in most... Okay, they, I, I wouldn't uh, refuse this, that at times there are men who, by some biological uh, makeup, they are mm -hmm. really able to handle things. But it's not everyone. Most people will say to themselves, I can handle this, I can handle this, but they are not handling it at all. Mm -hmm. They are actually dying inside. And like I said, that's why the statistics are saying we have more men dying of suicide than women. Because no matter, it, you know, ignoring an emotion that wants to come out of you does not mean it goes away. It does not go away. Mm -hmm. It will find its way of coming out. And when it comes out, you are not going to like it. It could be a terrible diagnosis that will probably wipe up all your bank balances because you're trying to seek treatment. So we are saying, you know what, it's a choice that every person has to make. If you want to remain as you are because that's how you're brought up, fair and fine. But if you think that this, you want to change your life for your sake, not for the sake of people around you, then you can take the advice and, and do things that are going to serve your life and the life of your family if in the case that, uh, you know, in the future. Yeah, yeah in the future. Okay, and and also one other thing, Nyasha, is mm -hmm. um we know that our children learn more from observing us. Children are cameras than... with legs. <laughs> children are cameras with legs. What they yes. see, they become. They become. That's mm -hmm. exactly so now if you as a man are always avoiding problems and pretending you don't have problems when you have them, guess what happens to your little boy? He is just going to observe and become just like that. And uh -huh. guess what you have do, what you are doing? You have just created a situation where the whole generation is just going to end up the same with mental health issues, suicidal. Maybe you have, you're not suicidal. Maybe you develop ailments. We have ailments that run in the blood simply because you have not taught your children how to handle their emotions. So we actually encourage that when you are doing some of these um, self-care activities, you need to do it together or in front of your children or with your children. This is how they learn how to take care of their own emotions. Now we have a, a generation of young people who who are doing things that are unthinkable, drugs and all sorts of behaviors. Why? Because they, they are also going through some emotions and they don't know how to deal with it because you as a father, you've never taught them. So they end up doing doing things that they think will relieve them of whatever they are going through. But if you as a father, as the head of the family, you say from today, we are going to have family time where every day we practice how to relieve stress that we have gathered or that we have collected throughout the day or the weekend. And then you do that. That is the best inheritance that you can give for you.